Hello everyone. Every day international treaties are closed between countries. Think about international trade agreements or international human rights treaties and so on. At some point, however, the content of these treaties should have effect in the domestic legal order of these countries. The question is, how can this effect be realized? In practice, this is regulated by the constitutions of the involved countries. In general, we see two kinds of approaches, a monistic approach and a dualistic approach. But what is the difference between those? A comparison is easily made with the old-fashioned coffee machine. The filter is actually the constitutional mechanism that has a monistic or a dualistic approach. The coffee is the international rule that is agreed upon. It is the filter that decides how this international legal rule will end up in the coffee machine and in the end will be consumed by its citizens. In a monistic legal system, the filter is relatively easy going. What is agreed upon on the international level is automatically a part of the domestic level. The filter will actually allow the international rules to pass without any further prerequisites. In a dualistic system, the filter is a bit tougher. On the domestic level, the parliament has to agree once more on the international rule. Only then it can be transformed in a national act and then it will have its effect in the domestic legal order. I must point out, however, that usually there are no pure monistic or dualistic systems. It rather, in practice, is a mixture of both. All countries have elements of both approaches in their constitution. Take Brazil, for instance. While on paper it appears to be a dualistic system, in practice the transformation of international law into national law is just a formality and has nothing to do with an actual approval. So the characteristics are a little bit more into the direction of monism instead of dualism. Or take the Netherlands, where on paper this is a monistic system, this only applies to international rules that are specific enough to have direct effect. And it happens to be the parliament, and in practice the government, that decides when such an international rule has direct effect. So, where it appears to be a monistic system, it also has characteristics of a dualistic system. After watching this video, I hope you've learned the difference between monism and dualism, and that in practice they are a bit mangled. For more information, check www.drwernet.nl. Thank you for watching and cheers.